Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Now check this out. I'm on a cruise ship right now, just doing me, chilling. But I had to drop this news on y'all, man. I couldn't leave this up to chance. I had to let everyone know before the news presses hit, before all the leaks came out all crazy. Check this out. Anthony Davis, yes, AD, is the cover athlete for NBA 2K20. Yay! Uh, um, oh, my bad. A little, like, gif went off in my head. Yay! Like, little kids go crazy. Yay! But check this out, man. So, the cover dropped. Um, It leaked on Twitter yesterday. I don't know how it leaked, but uh, it had got out. And a lot of people was like, yo, stop playing. It's fake. But everybody started putting things together when they saw the Instagram posts from 2K. Now, what 2K did was they thought it was witty to post like a video collage of a small portion of the cover for Anthony Davis cover. And I was like, yo, that's, that's a really dope concept. That's pretty dope because I've had the information for a few days now, but um, through embargo reasons, I wasn't able to drop it today. So when the little clip started dropping on Instagram, I'm like, oh, this is fire. Oh, this is about to go crazy. And then somebody dropped the cover on Twitter. I was like, yo, I'm like, yo, how did they get the information so quickly? Now, I know for sure that 2K has assets and stuff that they probably sent out to a bunch of different companies over the uh, inter internet space or whatever you want to call it, introverts, whatever. But for it to leak out the day before it was actually supposed to be announced is insane to me. Now, what I actually want to do is I want to kind of break down the cover because when you look at this cover, you don't just see NBA 2K20. You see a reminiscent of NBA 2K15. You know, maybe a little bit of NBA 2K16, 17 in there. I mean, it's a lot of different elements within the cover art that gives a lot of people hope that we will not only go back to the old non-archetype system with inside outside and balanced as well as go back to old rep rewards where we went to superstar you know what i mean in the in the park and all of that and it also lets people think that we're going to get park affiliations back now i know how this cover can make people seem like that's where we're going so what we're going to do is we're going to break it down right here in this video so let's hop into the cover all right guys so check this out we are currently looking at the official nba 2k20 cover with anthony davis now just to let you guys know later today i will be dropping a video on the official cover for the legend edition that will feature dwayne wade if you didn't know that dwayne wade was on that cover i'm sorry that information has been out for more than a month but that official cover video will be dropping later today but let's break down this cover so the first thing that you guys should notice is that on the fencing of the actual like the fence behind him it says inglewood it says well inglewood welcomes you that right there tells me that 2k may be trying to go from the streets route Whereas though you remember in 2K18 where DJ had aspirations for basketball, but he kind of went into music for a little bit, but then came back and became a baller. And then this year for 2K19, they actually had a guy who couldn't make it to the league through the draft and had to fight his way through playing overseas and then coming to the G League, then going to the NBA, all through that process I believe that this right here this storyline will be a player straight from the streets straight from the streets in a my career setting whereas though you will know without a doubt that this player came up with some grit it's probably gonna be a couple crazy scenes in it just like how that uh that freaking and vibe and tight wave was like you know how his friend died at the end in the in that my career series i feel like this my career storyline may have you go through things that you don't want to go through and the reason that i say that is because i don't feel like this game is going to be cookie cutter even though it's e for everyone it says mild language which means in the my career storyline 
they will have crazy scripted scenes with intense language and might even have like a crazy dramatic effect. So that's just for me seeing the Inglewood spin on things in the mild language. Now checking out the stars on the wall and then the, um, the next symbol, the way that I feel, I feel like it's like Anthony Davis, you see how like he has his, his, uh, his number down there. He got the the whole symbol and everything like that. The ladder cutting off the uh the actual championship uh net. You know, because every time you win a chip, the teams always cut the net. And then the next is like the next in that person's career or the next stage in that person's life, that baller's life. So I feel like it's really offsetting how he start. Well, not Anthony Davis per se, but how like you'll start. And into how you'll be like within the next like couple cutscenes or whatever in my career. Like I feel like this whole cover is always surrounding my career. Like I feel like there's always something on the cover that always symbolizes my career because even though people like my team, I feel like 2K still driven by my career and all of its best modes are within my career, such as my park, such as rec, such as pro am. You know what I mean? The stage. That's just how 2K does it. You know what I mean? Like they they just funnel everything within my career to make it that dope. Now, if you guys notice, down by his elbow, you see the goggles that Kawhi Leonard had on during his championship in the locker room. Those are the same type of goggles that you wear when you pop championship bottles. Not only that, that you can't tell me that that's not confetti for a team that just won the chip like this this cover has so much involved in it that you just don't know now another thing what i want you guys to do is i want you to tell me what city skyline that is behind the train just because of the simple fact that i need to know what skyline that is so i can kind of picture where maybe your my career may start or whatever ambiance they wanted that feel to come from because I don't know that, that city skyline. Another thing that a lot of people try to spin on this cover was that this is the way that they're bringing back affiliations. They said that the stars and everything like that meant the flyers. And they said that the train in the background meant that the Rough Riders was coming back. And I swear on my mother, somebody told me that they seen a palm tree somewhere inside this cover. Now, I'm thinking right behind the NBA logo, that looks like maybe a palm tree. But I'm not going to I'm not going to reach down the throat of 2K and say, "Hey, this right here y'all going to bring back affiliations." Nah, not at all. Also, another thing you guys might notice is that the jersey that AD is wearing if anybody doesn't remember a few years ago 2k decided to make something called team 2k and this was a way where they were actually getting talent they were getting influencers they were they were just earning a lot of different people across the board just putting chess pieces in place in order to get certain players on their team in order to promote their product I believe the jersey that Anthony Davis is wearing in this cover is actually a, a Team 2K jersey. I believe they didn't put him inside of a Laker jersey or any other team jersey because of the simple fact that they wanted this cover to work with the colorways that they have within the cover. So I believe that they got him wearing Team 2K colors in order to make this cover more vibrant. Now, I can't lie. AD cut on a thousand, you know what I'm saying? Look like he went to the barber right before the session. You know what I'm saying? But man, I, I mean, if I had a hairline, never mind. You know what? I ain't, ain't gonna talk about it. It's all good. But hey, listen, this is what I want you guys to do. It's time to get the speculation started. I need you guys to dissect this cover inside the comments right now. I wanna know what you guys' thoughts are on this cover. I wanna see, you know, what, what you wanna hear. Like, I, I just wanna know what you guys have pouring through your brains right now because, of course, we are two months out from the game. The game dropped September 6th, if anybody didn't know. If you probably pre-ordered this game, most likely, 2K will give it to you on September 6th. But I know for sure that I'm gonna be getting it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be getting it for Xbox and PlayStation 4. So uh, make sure you guys 
uh, message me at iPod King Carter on both of those platforms. I'll be uh, definitely adding people back and, you know, getting teams and stuff like that set up in my Discord. Um, I'm about to get up out of here. Like I said, I want to hear what you guys think inside the comments. So please don't be scared to leave a comment. Um, also, make sure you guys hit me up on Instagram. Um, I'll be, you know, posting and stuff like that with all different, you know, freaky posts and what ifs and all of that stuff like that. Also, merch is out right now at iPodKingCarter.com. If you go to www.iPodKingCarter.com, that's where all my merch will lay from now and on. Um, also, what last thing? Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys turn on noties. And I will see you guys in the next video. This is IKC signing out. Peace. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.